Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your Windows 10 search is not working properly. So, if for some reason your search is slow, or perhaps it's just not really acting up, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully address it without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So, first thing we're going to do is right click on the taskbar, just find a blank area, and then select Task Manager. Select the Services tab, and then select Open Services. You want to scroll down to get to the Windows Search service, right here. Double click on that. Make sure it's either set to Automatic or Automatic Delete Star, whatever you prefer. And if service status is stopped, you want to select Start, and then select Apply and OK. Now that you've done that, hopefully you will be able to commence with your Windows search once again. So close out of here. If you're still having a problem after restarting your computer, another thing you can try would be to open on File Explorer. So if you have it down in your taskbar, just go ahead and left one little folder icon. And then the address bar up at the top, just click inside one time, delete it and then type in control and one of the best matches should come back with control panel just go ahead and left click on that now you want to set your view by to large icons and then you want to locate indexing options then you need to go down it looks like it's pretty close to the top just go ahead and left click on that now you want to go ahead and select the option that says advanced and then select rebuild. Rebuilding the index might take a long time to complete. Some views and search results might be incomplete until rebuilding is finished. Go ahead and left click on OK. This will take a couple moments as the little message we had implied, so just be patient. Okay, so once it's done, it should say indexing complete. Go ahead and just left click on close. Close out of here. Hopefully, I would have again been able to resolve your problem. Another thing you can try if you're still having problems would be to go ahead and right click on the start button and then select Windows PowerShell Admin. So go ahead and left click on that. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now, I'm going to have a few commands in the description of the video. I want you guys to copy each one one at a time. First one should say PowerShell Execution Policy Unrestricted. So just copy from my description. So just highlight over it, right click and copy. Or use the Control C keyboard shortcut to copy it however you prefer. And then go up to the top bar is Windows PowerShell window. Right click on it. Left click on Edit and then left click on Paste to paste it in. Hit Enter on your keyboard. Once you're done with that, now you want to go run the second command in the description of my video. So again, copy that. Same methodology we did for the first one. Hit enter on your keyboard to run that. This will take a couple moments here. Just please be patient.
Okay, so once you have a blinking cursor, now you want to go ahead and run the third command in the script streamline video. Don't worry, you have a little bit of red text. It's not the biggest deal in the world. Most of the commands were fine. Okay, so once you have a blinking cursor, go ahead and run the fourth command here. Hit enter, and that should hopefully be it. So close out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully after that method, your search should be restored. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.